Ah, the Palestra, the oldest major college arena still in use. First game there, New Year's Day, 1927. UPenn beat Yale 26 to 15. 12 years later, it was the site for the first ever NCAA tournament game, and there's a postseason atmosphere anytime two of the Big Five get together. And joining us now, someone who was part of the Big Five. She played for the UPenn Quakers for four years. You were a tri-captain, McKaylin Austin, who, who's now been inspired to put together a documentary about the Palestra. And I think the one word that comes to mind anytime anyone talks about the Palestra is that it's intimate. That it is. It's extremely intimate. I mean, you can't express how intimate that place is, walking in it empty, full, any day. And of course, when people hear intimate, they might think quiet, but it's definitely not quiet. No, no, no. The only time it might be quiet is in between the coach's breath. But aside from that, nah, I, that is in practice, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, uh, what inspired you to put a documentary together about your old home court? Well, obviously, I played there for four years. I had a lot of great experiences. And um, actually, interesting story. It uh, would have been around March, February, March of my senior year. We were uh, getting ready to play a game, and there was an alumni game going on before us. And me and one of my uh, co-teammates, Jennifer Fleischer, were on the court talking to some of the alumni after they were done playing, getting ready to warm up. And they were telling us about how their experience, their first experience playing in the Plestra. Now, they were class of 1976, about 30 years ago. And their game was the first game that the women's team was allowed allowed to allowed. play in the Plestra. They always played at Waitman Hall, which is next door. And uh, their game went into overtime, of course. And a couple of administrators came down and were trying to shoo them off the court because the men's game had to start. <laughs> and they uh, basically stood there and said, no, we're going to finish this game. And I don't know if they won. They didn't get that far. We had to get you know, to warming up. But that story just kind of resonated as uh, something important to me and uh, being a women's player in that gym I just realized that there's something special about this place and it kind of went from there. Wow what about for you what was your uh, your most special moment out on the court? Oh god so many uh, I'd have to say like the most special moment would probably be uh, at the end of my season uh, or sorry, at the end of my career in the Palestra again it was in March 2004 we were playing Dartmouth against the Harvard Dartmouth weekend and uh, we had won, we won the game and clinched the Ivy League title since, you know, obviously the uh, Ivy League doesn't have a postseason tournament like all the other schools do. And me and Jewel Clark, my fellow senior for the four years, climbed up the ladder, oh. got, on, got on the rim, you know, trying to emulate uh, Michael Jordan from Penn, swishing the thing around, which we did, <laughs> and we almost broke the rim. But we uh, sat up there and looking over at the, you know, sea of teammates and friends and family, it was just kind of, you know, amazing feeling and it was almost as if we had you know added our little piece of history to the uh, grand history that is the Plestra. Yeah and you took the moment in as it happened uh, you brought a trailer with you so let's check out the trailer here for the uh, the upcoming documentary the Palestra Cathedral of Basketball. There are certain places if you really care about a sport that you have to go to. And if you're a college basketball fan, you have to go to the Palestra. It's one of the few places in America where you can feel the energy when you come to a game. You can feel the electricity seeping into you while you watch players run the floor. Playing at the Palestra in big five games, the memorable experience. And those kinds of experiences stay with you as long as you live. There's a spirit there, there's a sense, a karma that's just different and that sprinkles itself into each and every game. It is the unique experience in basketball. It's getting tingly, huh? It gives me chills every time. <laughs> you clearly spoke to some of the great characters that have spent a lot of time at the Palestra, and it's a team of four of you, and each of you are from different schools from the Big Five, so it yeah. must get really rowdy anytime two of the five uh, get together. That, it, that's an understatement. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it, like you said, it's the four of us. Uh, myself as the writer, producer, director, uh, my coordinating producer, Carrie Smith, who is a St. Joe's grad of 94, uh, my cinematographer, Michael Vicheski, who is also a 94 grad of Villanova. Oh. And my uh, editor, Stephen Pack, who is a Temple grad, and I don't know his year, so my apologies. But uh, you could definitely say it gets a little rowdy, particularly considering Carrie and Steve, or Carrie and Mike, I'm sorry, are uh, obviously St. Joe's Villanova. They, 
they give each other a hard time. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, and of course, if you need anyone else, you're going to have to uh, hire a, a LaSalle assistant with you. We, we need some music. So if anybody out there is LaSalle grad wants to put a little music in, we're Perfect. Yeah, only LaSalle. <laughs> cool. What's the website? Oh, it's www.palestradocumentary.com. All right, cool. McKaylin, thanks a lot for coming by and good luck with it.